Hi, how are you today? You're here with Deisha Johnson with Deisha 360. It's so nice to be with you once again. I know you can only see my hands, right? Uh, we're about to do another pour. We're going to do a pour and we're going to do a Dutch pour. Uh, this is something I haven't done on camera. Uh, on this on this uh, series actually here I think I've done some on camera I haven't posted but uh, we're gonna do this one on camera and we're gonna post it so let's get started we're gonna do a half and half so we're gonna come up here and we're gonna do half white this half is gonna be white this half is gonna be gold yes we're gonna do that we're gonna do we're gonna go big go big and go home so let's get started we have our house paint white. We're going to go ahead and just start that on this side here. You know what? No, we're not. We're stopping. We're stopping. We're stopping. We're stopping. Because house paint white gives me cells, and I don't want cells in my pour. I do not want cells in my pour. So, I don't have very much of this white, so let's just start at the corner and see what we have, okay? But this is regular acrylic white, and I almost made a big boo-boo. I'm not so concerned with the sides, only because I know I really want to make sure I have enough white in this painting. And I know I'm not going to have very much white. Let's see here. I'm trying to give it as much as I can before I run out. Uh, can we go from here and just do this? I'm like totally out of white paint right now. So, can that be the line that we draw and make the rest gold? Well, we'd have to see what the back looks like, right? And the back needs some more paint. So, but we can use actually the regular paint on that because we're not blowing. It's not going to get into our... We're not worried about that. It's not going to get into our pour. Okay. And so now we have about one third of the canvas covered in white. We're going to do the other two-thirds in gold. This is something different. I've never done two-thirds. I've always done half and half. But I did not check my white. So we're going to go ahead and just put the gold in there. Just going to right around that line and let it melt into each other. Let's go around those edges. Then it drip down and we'll go back and complete it afterwards. But it's very important that you get all the edges covered in paint. Uh, it just makes for a much better uh, finished finished product. It really does. It's so much nicer. I almost want to do something in the middle of this. It just feels like this should not be all gold. I've never done anything different in the middle of here, but I'm just feeling organically like I want to put something there, but maybe not. Let's just let's go ahead and, and fill it in with gold and see what we get. Just filling it in with gold. That's all we're doing right now. I don't have much to say about this other than I'm gonna take a spatula and spread this out a little bit. I try to stay away from the spatula, but I think in this instance it's necessary. 
and it, my spatula has all kind of stuff on it right now. So give me one moment. Ah. My spatula is not in the best shape yet. Let's see if I have another one. I have a couple up in here. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah. Aha! Yes, we have one that works. So let's take our spatula and just gently smooth out this paint. Right. Very gently. Smoothing out the paint. And we'll put a little bit more on the edges, right? Let's we're just gonna worry about making sure the paint is nice and smooth on that line. I like really nice um, strokes so that the um, paint does not compromise in any way. All right, so now we have basically our half, our third, uh, and two thirds. So let's go ahead and start putting our paint on this line here. All right, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna post our paint up right on this line. We're gonna use our blue, which is a phthalo blue. We're gonna use a little warm gray. We need some burgundy and some orange and black. Ah, we added an extra mystery color. We'll put a little black in there, just a little, just a little, not much, but a little. So let's go ahead and um, pop our air bubbles and then we'll go ahead and start the painting layering process for this Dutch pour. those air bubbles out and we're gonna start with our paint I think I want to go with blue first I think this blue is gonna look really nice the only thing I'm worried about is this this gold has been selling up on me and I think I see it turning into cells even in itself so I don't know how this pour is going to come out, so we're going to just do our best. All right, we're just going to do our best. I want to do that, I want to do the warm gray next. We're gonna come in with some burgundy. I'm gonna zigzag this burgundy just a little bit, right? I wanna, I wanna see quite a bit of burgundy in this painting. And when you do a Dutch pour, it's very, very minimal paint. Very minimal. Very, very minimal. Don't resist the urge to go with big, right? Let's go with some orange. I love the brightness of the orange. And then just a little black. And I don't even know how I want to do this black. I don't even know. I don't think I want to do a whole straight line. I think I want to just a couple dots of black. Dot here, dot there. I think that's all I want to do with the black. I don't want too much black, right? And I'm not seeing as much blue as I would like to see, so I'm gonna come back with a few dots of blue. I 
All right, that is our belt. That is what we are working with. Okay, Lord, we ask you bless us, right in the name of Jesus. Yes, that's what we do. I do it all the time, and I don't want to do anything different, and I be my authentic self. I want to be who I am, and that is who I am. So we ask that this painting be blessed. All right, let's get started with the blow dryer. What I like to do is I like to turn my blow dryer up so the cord is on top, not on the bottom, right? We don't want the cord down here. We want the cord up here at the top, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. And you will not hear me talking very much because it's going to be loud with the blow dryer going. I have it on cool, and I'm going to have it on the medium setting. Not high, not low, but on medium. All right? Let's get going. I'm going to start right in the middle. I almost, hey guys, I almost made a terrible mistake. When I went to go blow it, I realized what the mistake I was making. And the mistake I was making is that you have to have a color, a color to cover it and then blow it. I have no more white. The gold is going to sell up on me. But I think that's the only color I have to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get the gold and do what I have to do, right? So you're going to put an abundance of gold on this side here. Just like thicken it up. Make it nice and thick. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I told you. It's been a minute since I did a Dutch pour. It's been a minute. We're going to cover it with the gold. And then we're going to blow it. Alright, let's go. Have it on medium. Go ahead and cover it with the gold. All right, it's nice and covered. That was very simple to do. Now we're going to start to blow it, and we're going to blow in both directions because we want to see this expand and see what, what we have going on here. I think I'm going to bring it back first. Mm, no, I'm going to take it away first. Okay, let's go. Yep, that's what I want to do. Yep, that looks really beautiful. Look at that color. Oh, I'm loving the burgundy and the blue. Now we're going to take our, our, uh, our blow dryer and come back this way, okay? around a little bit. I'm seeing some cells that I don't want to see, but I'm going to keep on going. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to let it stop me. Oh, wow. I think it came out beautiful. Turn it off here. Oh, look at that. I don't know if you can see how beautiful it is. I will uh, do a follow up. And you know, I have a pet peeve that I do not like people tell me I'm going to follow up and they don't. So I will definitely follow up. But I really, really like it. And uh, let's go ahead. I'll do something I haven't done in previous videos and I've been meaning to do is I like to clean off the edges and I, you don't see that I do it after we get off camera. So I just take my finger and I just kind of go at the bottom of the painting all the way around. Do not lift your finger up above your painting because you do not want it to, uh, the other paint to drip. 
okay and this is all I do or I take a um, stick a wooden stick and go under there and do the same thing okay and you can see the other colors they kind of dissipate as they come through but that blue shows out oh I love it let's go ahead and torch it Oh, I think I see another place I want to. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna leave it like this. I, I want to move something, but I think if I move it, I'm gonna take away a lot of color. And I don't want to do that. So let's give it a quick torch. This is beautiful. It's almost, I'm going to call this, I have a name for it already. Uh, I, I kind of don't want to tell you until you see it dry because it's hard to see. But I want to call it exclamation point. Exclamation point. It's almost like it's a gold something and then there's an exclamation point right on top of it. It looks really beautiful. It's like, hey, here I am. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a Dutch pour. We did about a third of the canvas in white and two thirds of the canvas in gold. We used blue, phthalo blue. We used a burgundy, an orange, and a little bit of black. And I really can't see the black. I can see some darker hues of the blue. So I have to believe that some of the black is in there. And I do see a little little bit of black up in here I don't know if you can see that there's a little bit of black up in there but uh, not a whole lot I didn't want to darken it I wanted to be a very bright painting so I hope you enjoyed yourself this is a Dutch pour and we used uh, I told you about the colors she used and we want to thank you for tuning in if you like it please like it below and if you love it please subscribe so that you can see other paintings that I paint we can do this together. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. You take care and God bless. This is Deisha Johnson with Deisha 360.